Good morning, friends. This is Jeannie, your support coach and mentor, signing on in a Facebook Live. And I wish you a very good morning, a very good morning, and a very good morning. I trust this Monday works well for you, and the whole week works well. Here in Canada, it's a holiday, so it's one last day to get set before schools begin. So for all those of you in that boat, my I was going to say sympathies with you, just because I know how crazy busy it's going to be once school starts and your whole focus changes. But on another note, it's also time to re-evaluate, re-evaluate what went right and what didn't work in the past. And I've titled my Facebook Live thing, Learning from Losses. Because often it's when things that don't work out that teach you what should be and what should work out. It's when things don't work out, it gives you a wake up call. If the schedule didn't work out, if your kids' grades didn't work out as you expected, the time is not to sit back and say, oh, well, you know what? You know what? That's how kids are, or that's how life is, or that's how, uh, you know, the dangers of the job or the dangers of the situation. Those are things that happen. Or oh, that's just how, as you get older, that's how, like, you just tend to put things in buckets, saying, this is how life is. This is how things are. But if you truly desire to change from where things are to where things want to be, you want to learn. You want to learn from what went right and what didn't go right. Because when things go right, it's a mixture of everything, right? It's a mixture of good preparation, good skill sets, right timing, right people, right frame of mind. You've got so many rights going on there. And once in a way, when things don't turn out right, and if many of you are lucky, you're trying enough that you have many things not going right, so you're learning a lot. You have speed momentum. And when things don't turn right, it's like a loss. You feel bad. You feel taken aback. You're like, that decision didn't go well. That action didn't go well. You impacted yourself. Sometimes you might uh, impact the team. And you're like, that wasn't a good call. If you're a business owner, you know the number of good calls you've had, and then you know the number of bad calls you've had. People, you know what? Life happens. And that's why I've told this learning from losses. Because if you don't learn from your loss, you've not learned anything. That loss that happened, that failure that happened was useless. So let's look at what could trap you. And we will work through stages of how to look at what went wrong. And to look at what you can change so that the things turn back to you. Losses often have a paralyzing effect. They have a paralyzing effect, especially when you learn about it. You're like, oh my God, what did this happen? Why did this happen? Who made this? Like, honestly, really, if you're not watchful, losses can have a paralyzing effect because of this the tone of condemnation uh, that you attach to when you talk to yourself. Or a tone of condemnation when you talk to somebody else. You know what? You are the person who listens to you the most. You listen to yourself the most. You're always talking and listening to yourself. So be careful how you speak to yourself. One of the first things losses can do is incapacitate you if you're not watchful to learn what you need to learn. Often you will learn to be more vigilant more uh, thoughtful, more uh, considerate, more conscientious of what is on the plate before you make a decision. And you want to learn what went right, what always went right with you, and why something went wrong. The reason you want to learn why something went wrong, not to beat uh, on the same bush, like they say, you know, don't flog a dead horse, but to learn. If that thing were to happen again, would you make the same mistake? And why did that happen? So what were the consequences of doing that right? And what are the consequences of, you know, not doing it right? I often say the mental consequences, apart from the physical consequences, the mental consequences can be a little lifelong just because of the way you talk to yourself and the way you uplift yourself or the way you downgrade yourself to basic important things. So learning from losses, my friend, when something happens, you want to assess it. You want to truly, truly assess it to say, what was the situation? Who was impacted? 
how many people were impacted, what could have been the opportunity cost had that gone right. And then you want to put steps in place to say, if the same situation was to happen again, would you do the same thing? What's, you know, checks and balances would you put in place? What different items would you put in place so that you not lost that time, that energy, that decision-making capacity? And the failure in that decision is not incapacitating you going forward, but because you learn from it, you are now so much more better, so much more stronger, so much more wiser. If you're not watchful, losses can put you in traps like, oh, you know what, uh, that's a mistake, and you wallow in that mistake. Losses can put you in traps like, you know, uh, feeling sorry for yourself, can put you in a blame game, can put you in so many things. You want to truly step back and assess the situation, and you want to truly step back and say, if that situation were to happen again, how would I deal with it? So my friends, I'm here to tell you that failures happen, losses happen, life happens, but I'm also, it is what it is, but I'm also here to tell you that those are not the things that define you. Those are the things that shoulder your growth and progress. Those are the things that actually make you more vigilant, more stronger, more wiser. And so you want to remove the hat of mistake once you've found and assessed it to say, how are you going to treat this going forward? How are you going to bless this situation? And how are you going to bless the learning for yourself and for your team members? Right? It's not an easy decision, my friends. But the loss is really a loss when you let it be the loss. The loss can be a fruitful learning experience if you let it be the fruitful learning experience. So turning losses into learning, my friend, an integral, integral, integral part of growth. Show me one person like Jesus bent down and wrote on the sand when he was faced with an adulterous woman and a, and a crowd of people condemning her. Like Jesus wrote down in the sand, if any of you has not, has not sinned, then be the first one to throw the stone. I want you to remember that mistakes have happened to everybody. But it's the way you assess your loss and the way that you learn from it. First step is assessing it and second step is learning from it. The way you learn from it will actually take you to the next step will actually take you to the next step in growth, will actually take you to the next step in your learning. Happy learnings, my friend, because if you're not failing, you're not learning. If you haven't had a loss, you've not had growth, you've not had impact, right? If you're, if you're used to being in a cushy situation, good for you. We're all afraid to step out of our comfort zone and make decisions, make, uh, you know, take decisions, make up, uh, that studied, I was going to say studied assessments and grow our wings, right? We're all worried about getting out of our comfort zone. But if you don't worry and get out of our comfort zone, we won't grow to our next stage. I'm here to say you mistakes happen. So my series for the next few days is titled Turning Learnings into Losses. You are not alone. If you've had a failure, you've had a loss, you are not alone. And my journey over the next couple of days will say, how do we turn that loss into a learning? My, my lesson for today and my message for today is, what was the single most thing you took from that failure experience, from that experience of loss? What is the single most takeaway for you? If that situation were to happen again, would you do the same? What checks and balances would you keep so that that does not happen again? Then my friends, that is a fruitful learning experience. This is Jean, your support coach and mentor, signing off on our Facebook Live, saying, don't worry, losses happen. I don't mean it as flippantly. It, those, those are grave decisions. Those are serious situations when you come across something like that. But it's how you deal with it that helps you. 
And so my ask of you today is, are you in the traps of blame, mistake, uh, you know, feeling sorry for yourself, or are you truly, truly assessing the situation and taking your single most learning from that? Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow on some more learning from your losses. Bye for now.